This is the uh, fourth time, chat, that we've done a Race to World First coverage kind of like this. This is always super, super fun. Super fun. And so, chat, um, if, if we are not following a guild that is doing really, really well and owning, then we're going to add them like... like Within 20 minutes, we're going to know, okay, this guild's doing really good. This guild's not doing so good. We can add people. We can remove people, whatever, whatever. What guild is most likely to win? I think, you know, pro progress has done really, really well historically. But last year, it was a Chinese guild called called uh, Old School that won. We talked about this earlier. What what does World First mean? In my opinion, I mean, Nomi, do you would agree that, that World First is... It's, it's like the first guild to clear... Sartharian three, three drakes. It's twenty five Mali and also twenty five Nex. You have to do all of those, and then that's the that's the guild. All the content on the highest possible difficulty. I think that's also gonna be the standard for uh, for Ulua. It's gonna be all hard modes. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And I want to see: Are they doing three D or are they just doing Sartharian? I would ima I would imagine everyone wants Sartharian three D. So guys, we we have Tobzi. He's a moderator here. He's going to be live updating the guild progress as we go. Well, I'm hearing it's live, so uh, I guess like any second we're going to see these guilds zone in. Some people in chat are saying the raid is live. Yep. So any minute these guilds will be able to get in. Nax out. Yeah, Nax is officially out. Oh, Newman is loading in. Okay. So Newman is in. Our European guild. NA guilds are still not in. CN is still not in Sartharian 3D. No one else is in. Newman is in though. So I'm going to full screen Newman here. Because they're going. We're popping rocket boots to get into uh, a new barack. Actually, someone... Oh, someone rocket booted in just to grab trash and bring it back. And the insane AoE pulls are already starting. Yeah, they're big pulls to begin with. We have uh, two frames per second here. <laughs> yeah, we just had someone pop boots, run to the end of the hallway, and then double back and just round up the trash. So, I want to watch this boss fight before we check on other guilds. I guarantee you, a new Khan, even even after all the HP buffs, he's going to die before a Locust Swarm even comes out. He has 8 million health. It's not going to be allowed for these guys. And look, we have a Bloodlust because they can use it on every, every boss. Yep. Yep. Yeah, he's going down really fast. So, they have 1 minute and 14 seconds here to kill this boss. And they're not even going to need all of that. They're going <laughs> to... They are just melting this boss. They're going to kill him with 30 seconds left on the Locust Swarm timer. Probably more than that. Their DPS is absolutely insane. Uh, we have people doing 10k DPS in this raid. 9.4, 9.3. warrior chat, let's go. The warriors are on top. We have our uh, Demonology Lock doing pushing 9k. They have t 39 seconds to Locust Swarm. And the boss here is at 20%. And they're just wad they know they have- they, they're so confident they're just waddling him back to the door here so they can just get out of the room more easily. Execute phase, yeah. And, uh, down he goes. Just about. And now Fury Warrior in execute phase. Warriors on top, let's go. That's what we like to see. Hey, the Warlock was number two ah, with the Death Knight on top. Down right at the end. Ah, shame. Insanely fast kill. So, oh, we have Welcome is already in Sarth. So, Welcome is on. not going for 3D. Welcome is oh, not going for oh. 3D. They're killing Shadron. I'm, I'm disappointed to see that. <laughs> that's that's a shame. Maybe 2D? I'm going to take a look here. It's sad because uh, Old School, our, our number one Chinese guild from last year, isn't even in yet. Yeah. Is is any Chinese guild in? Progress is in, but I... Th so they're starting uh, Plague Wing here. They're on yes, Not the Plague Ringer. I can tell you, I forget they started with the military quarter there at uh, Instructor Risk 2, he's now about to pull. Ooh, let's watch pat Patchwork here. Ooh, look at this! Avatar is running like three demo locks. Three demo locks! So they've said demo's better than Affliction. We're, we're maxing out demo locks. Maybe it was four of them. I didn't even see. Keep it. Look at the tank health uh, bouncing up and down at the left side of the screen. Like they're, the tanks are yeah. really getting chunked out. Even, yeah, they even really with are. such good gear. Yeah. They're getting hit really hard. Now, keep in mind, like, maybe the decision for Demo Lock is because a huge part of this race is killing trash. You just have to burn through trash. And they've got five Warlocks in total. Affliction doesn't have really time to <clears throat> ramp anything on trash, so they, they would just be seed spam, right? And yep. I think yep. that was better. Than that. That's true. Also, I, I think Demo might actually, with how much uh, you ha uh, lost up time you have on all these bosses, I think that uh, also is a benefit for the Demo Locks. 
Yeah, yeah, it would, it, like, meta is just so insanely strong. Anyway, Patchwork's going down here for Avatar. So a lot of people are saying this is the hardest boss in Nax, just because he hits tanks so hard, especially tanks that are um, only in Priebus. In a couple weeks, it won't be as bad. But Patchwork is going down here. This is our first guild to, to, to kill Patchwork, I think. Yeah. So statement, the uh, German guild are apparently doing uh, Obsidian Sanctum first as well. I don't know if we had a stream Let me hop over and take a look here. Down goes Patchwork, nice. Grats. Dude, this feels so bad. Our old school is still stuck outside SAR 3D. They can't even zone in yet. Feels so bad. So Welcome is, is doing two Drake. Definitely. Well, we, we also don't know if they have a, a delay. Like we, we wouldn't be able to know. But yeah. So if they they're, if they're alive, then they, they did they did two Drake and just killed him. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder why they chose to do that. I wonder why they did not choose three Drake. It ge it gives them the round first achievement if that's what they're going for. I guess that's what they but. care about. Down here we have uh, Fusion is doing patchwork also a little bit closer to the Grobulus room, and once again you're seeing you're seeing three demo locks. Every guild is choosing demo. Let's take a look at progress. Progress is running six Warlocks. We have, what, seven Death Knights, four Hunters. So every guild is smart here. They're really prioritizing AoE trash damage. Like, it's actually maybe more important than just boss damage. There's just a lot of trash and Naxx to go through. And so Progress has already done the dance. They're moving on to, uh, uh, what, gosh, what's the boss's name? Lothib. Lothib. Yeah. So, uh, welcome to the kill south, like Toby, Toby has noted on the the sheet, but it was like we talked about only two Drake, not three Drake. So I don't know if we should, I don't think we should count that if I'm being honest. I think it's, we want three Drake. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think as far as the world first tier seven, I think we need to see three Drake, right? Is that, is that, is that true chat? Now, this is just a bad feeling because it seems like Russian and Chinese servers are unable to zone in. That's what this seems like right now. Oh, okay. So our Russian guild, Exodus, is actually in the raid now. And take a look at Exodus. Oh, no. That's really bad. Our Death Knight here, he was on an undercover mission. He was doing some secret shit, and he pulled trash and died. That's really bad. His raid had split. He was doing something else. That's t tough. That's tough for them. That did not yeah. go according to plan. I don't know what he was trying to do, though. I, I don't know what the idea was. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure. I didn't see if they were ahead of him or behind him. They, they must have been ahead of him because the trash on the right was clear, I believe. Maybe? I, I'm not sure. Now, look so, at this. This, this is progress. This is our hunter. He is doing some secret shit here, too. Look, look, let's watch this. He's pulling trash from military. He's rocket booting and kiting the trash into spider wing. And he has... He's kiting the trash to his raid, which is waiting for him in Spiderwing. So they're just... They're so confident they're, with Spiderwing trash, they're pulling bonus trash from other wings to them. I like to see that. That's good. Yeah, this, this um, is the stuff that kind of sets, sets progress apart historically. They're going to kill it as they kill a noob. They are not scared of a noob recon. How many did you pull? Did you just pull the two or did you get the pack behind it? Oh, it's just the two Death Knights. I think you just got the two Death Knights. I don't think you got the pad that comes down the hallway. Old School is still locked out. This was our number one guild last year, old school Chinese guild, and they still have not zoned into a single raid. That is very, very unfortunate. Now, Anub is going to die for progress. We know that's going to happen. Let's watch Exodus as they try to kill our Death Knight friend who died before his back. They, he got a summon back in, and now they're pulling Makesna. So he was running down Spiderwing when he died. So I think he was just, I, I think he actually just died previously and was running back to the raid yeah. when he actually died again. That's what I assume happened. Now he just got a summon instead. I think that must be what happened. Feels bad. Feels bad. So it's it's real it's really hard to know who's in the lead right now because stuff is just happening way too fast. We are we are ten minutes into the race. Each guild has cleared about one Nax wing if they started in Nax. We had one guild that um decided to start with Sartharian, but they did Sartharian 2D rather than 3D. That guild was Welcome, and now Welcome has found themselves in Nax Ramus on Grand Widow for Alina. I don't know how I feel about the 2D. I, r I really wish that they went for 3D. That's how I feel as a viewer, but uh, they made their choice. Maybe they just wanted to get server first. But it's we, we, we have to see what these other guilds have decided to do in regards to 3D. We see progress up in the top left. They are working towards Grand Widow for Alina. That Shadowbolt damage is very scary. Doing huge AoE packs, vanilla style. 
Remember when a paladin would run in and bubble and then pop Petri Flask? No, and then the entire raid was invis potted. Yeah, and then they uh, had like a synchronized weak aura for uh, sapping at the exact same time, so no one pulled yeah. thread and died. <laughs> yep, yep. They, they had to all sap at the same, exact same uh, bash window, and otherwise someone would pull thread and die. It was a uh, it was weird tech, but it uh, it worked for them. Take a look here. We are actually doing the uh, the death might like M MC functionality. We're not just ignoring that mechanic. They're doing it, but Felina is see. just dying so fast. Later, later on, you might be able to ignore that, but the tanks are not tanky enough for it yet. Like the, yeah. if she enrages for too long, she will. Like, you can you can pop a cooldown and like shield wall or uh, divine protection, depending on who's tanking it. But after that cooldown, you will you will die. Like it's, it hits too hard for healers to keep up with. I'm looking at the warlock pets here. We have three fell guards and three fell hunters. So we have three demo warlocks and three affliction warlocks. Just a split right down the middle. This is progress. Six warlocks total. I think that's the most warlocks we've seen in any of these uh, comps. Yeah, I think I think you're right. Uh, let's take let's take a look at uh, fusion as they kill uh, Thaddeus here. Let's see if they can pass the test. They are doing plus on the left side, by the way. They are doing plus on the left side. Uh, that's kind of insane. That's kind fusion of is insane. Saying red right. Fusion is saying red right. Red right. Red is right. They're, they're, yeah, they're following the, the political system uh, placement rather than the mathematical system placement. Yeah. Blue left, red right. And Paul. that's the American deal, so I don't I don't know what you can uh, <laughs> conclude from that. Yeah, yeah, that's just it's the American way. <laughs> no, I, I actually, I think I, I was in a guild in vanilla that had blue left and red right, and like, it was, it was very, it just feels so wrong. Like, you want to do it the mathematical way, right? Thaddeus here is at oh, about 30%. No deaths yet. Everyone knows they're left from right. So our, our CN guild, old school, they're on a 15 minute delay I've heard. So it looks like they're not even in the raid yet. So you see Newman doing the salad baker skip here. As they're on the right side of Gothic the Harvester, they had someone go behind, behind, run up the back side, and they're pulling mobs through the gate. They're pre-clearing trash during the AFK time during Gothic. This is a strategy yeah. that uh, that salad baker sort of came up with during uh, Vanilla WoW next Ramus speed. Yeah, this is a uh, classic WoW strats. This is uh, it's good to see the uh, the old tech being used. They're gonna be popping uh, rocket boots and going straight to four horsemen after this, I'd imagine. Ooh, I want to see that. What is progress? I'm back up here to progress, and we have our progress hunter here who is pulling more trash from military wing into his raid, who is now progressing down uh, construct quarter. So he's doing it again. They're just, they're just slowly chipping away at military wing. So this is progress here. Just like industrially cleaving down ads in the uh, construct quarter as they work towards patchwork. It's weird because they have two poles going here. They have a tank on the left and a tank on the right. I, I don't know if you can pull up LMGD, but what they just did, uh, the four horsemen, and instead of teleporting out, they are now running back and about to go through the slime. So what I'm assuming you're going to see is uh, an attempt at something like... Uh, what you saw in the video with the rocket boots, uh, snowfall jumps. Yeah, I got it up right now. Let's take a look at this. This is LMGD, guys. We are swimming from... This is a spider is quarter, from, right? Swimming from in, military. From military. military they just in, yeah. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, they've got a plague beast. Look at the raid HP just spike around. Okay, they're all yeah. out. They did it. That's that's the hardest part of what doing this is they coming through that. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Now we have now we want to see if they do the rocket boot skip. So, oh, they're, I think I think they I think they're just going to drop here into uh, whatever this boss is. Yeah, name is. they're dropping down into, into north, north. For, and skipping the start of uh, the big water trash. Yeah. So that means they, they get to skip the annoying gargoyle it. mobs and all that stuff up top. I think this was done in original, uh, in in classic speedruns as well. By some, I don't know if it was standard, but I've seen it done before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we have statement. Yeah, I, here. I don't know. So statement here is in, and they are doing Sartharian. There, there's one Drake up in the air. There's one Drake on the ground, and they're just nuking uh, the boss now. I think this is probably two Drake. Mystical is saying check deep debuffs for three Drake icons. I can't tell the debuffs because of the. I only uh, see two. I only see two overlay. icons. Yeah, there's just two. Yeah. All right, another guild has chosen to do two Drakes today. So this was our Chinese guild here, old school. That's on a 15 minute delay, and they're killing Vesperon. 
Not a single not guild so far has chosen. Them are doing. No one has the confidence to do it. That's, no one's doing three true. Drake. Not yet. Who knows? Maybe progress or someone else is going to do it. Take a look at Newman here. Oh, Newman's about to do four horsemen. So I think we're going to see a three boss stack in the top left corner. Is that what we're going to see? I think I think it you can do that. Like, yeah, it looks like it. it. It's if they're not doing that, then it's kind of weird to start with uh, Lady Pluma. So, so I I would assume they they're bringing him on. Yeah, there that's we have a uh, yep. chain, and Mograin is there. Yep. In the end of this, they're probably going to be chaining the uh, the divine uh, sacrifices. If you can, if you keep a look at the the top left, you can see their rate cooldowns. So once they start getting enough uh, of these debuffs, they're going to be chaining uh, divine sacrifices to prevent the raid from dying to the Mark uh, applications. Newman's running three Warlocks. I think they have the lowest Warlock count um, out of any other guild here. And we're seeing a lot of guilds run at least three Demo Locks just because of the AoE. Like, you would think on a, if, if you're going to do the, the three three Horsemen stack, you would want Demo Warlocks. I mean, they, they do a ton of AoE here. But anyway, they're dead. They pivot over to Zeliac. Yeah. So someone in chat is saying that uh, an Alliance guild on Grobulus did three Drakes already. Wow. Eight minutes after release. Bunch of chats. Yeah, no, good for them. Good for them. All right, this is Newman wrapping up Four Horsemen. Let's go to Exodus, our Russian guild. Oh, man, this guy has COVID. He's going for World First Naxx, and he's got COVID. I remember having COVID a couple months ago, and I just felt like dying. I can only imagine. That sucks. So I want to see... I, I imagine all of these guilds here are just able to burn down Gluth before he even summons the, uh, the zombie chow to be eaten. So someone in chat is asking how uh, it works with uh, normal and heroic. So in in uh, next Ramus, there's only uh, ten and twenty five, and there's no normal and heroic. But uh, the closest thing we have in tier seven to heroic is doing South uh, Southarian with three dragons alive. Uh, later on in uh, Ulduar, it'll become into hard modes, and then in Trial of the Crusader and in ICC, there'll be different difficulties for normal and heroic. Down goes Blue. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Though we are trying to skip as much trash as possible. Oh, but the trash the trash wants them. That was a bad pat timing for them. Yeah, very. They got big, both the big guy and uh, yeah. the geists. It's it's so hard to watch old school here, our Chinese guild, because they're on a 15 minute delay. So it's uh, yeah. it makes you wonder if they're doing some crazy tech though. I think you should put uh, forget in into the uh, eight streams instead of uh, maybe instead of welcome. Uh, we... They're just about to pull lower thip, so they're they're almost done with their second uh, wing, which I think is ahead of most of the guilds at the moment. All right, guys, we're gonna add forget. Uh, LMGD one is representing. Give us like ninety, not ninety, like fifteen seconds to reload here. We can use this reloading time to shout out our sponsor, Power Gum. It's the number one gamer energy source, and uh, surely whichever guild is chewing the most Power Gum is gonna get world first. There's no doubt about that. Rain is apparently doing well. LMGD Keep is on. typing in his Twitch chat while tanking Lothab. <laughs> 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 What's up? <laughs> Lothab is so easy to tank. Yeah, it's <laughs> you, 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 you just stand there and get hit. It's it's. Yeah. I want to start seeing these guilds leave next Ramus and see. I I want to see one of these top next Ramus guilds head out and segue into a Sartharian 3D. That's what I want to see. I want to see at least one of these guys do a Sar 3D. I mean, they they will be. I I I. Refuse to believe that they're not doing that as well. Well, it could be part of the strategy. Um, maybe you, using some of the next gear to help them do SAR 3D, right? They can swap it in real fast, throw an enchant. Uh, you have you have enchanting vellum, so you just pop it on enchant, and then, you're, and then you're good to go. But yeah, so of course, the reason why none of these guilds have gone into Maligos yet um, is because you need to have killed Sartharian, uh, not Sartharian, uh, Saffron, and, uh, to, to get the key to go into Maligos. They're saying Newman wiped. I don't know if that... Yeah, they're wiping on patchwork. That's not good. Mid, oh, mid Newman was actually... I would say they were owning pretty hard. I don't, I don't know if they were in first place. They, they, they were looking good. They did two wings already and were now doing construct. So, yeah, that's that's not good. That is tough. They've got to deal with the slimes again. I'm assuming it's it's a tank getting hit too hard. That's what yep. we were seeing in the other three. They were Their tank health was bouncing really, really quickly. Like They were they were getting spam healed and they were still close to dying. So, it has to be what happened. Old school, 15 minutes ago, has killed Patchwork. Old school has a 15 minute delay chat. They were they were our number one guild in Sunwell Plateau, so it sucks they have a 15 minute delay, but who really knows how far they are. Let's take a look at uh, Forget, featuring LMGD. They are rocket booting into the spider wing. 
So far, Progress is the only guild we've seen that's doing like backward trash pulls, where they're pulling trash from other areas in the raid. They have one person dead as they do this trash pull leading into a new Rakan. This raid is looking pretty monk a w They they just they, they, they just pulled the boss. Yeah, they be res yeah, the, 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 the the death knight. Yeah, true. What we were talking about with the uh, the heroisms early on is that when you kill a boss, they reset. Same thing goes for the battle reses. So you as with these runs, you can just whenever someone dies on trash, you just rest them instantly. Keep going. Now they've got thirty seconds here on locust swarm time. They're definitely going to kill a new Khan here before that locust swarm pops. And then Forget's going to kill this boss and move on as, and head towards uh, Grandwood of Frelina. So let's look at progress as they're pumping down Thaddeus. Progress, Thaddeus is dead. And then I think they probably move on to Military Wing. I think that's all they have left, maybe? Now it's Military Wing. So here's the weird thing. I've seen this hunter preemptively pull trash twice out of this wing. Out of this wing. Here's the trash again. I think the trash has been resetting. I think that their pre-pulling of trash out of this wing has done nothing for them. I think the trash has reset or has respawned or something. Yeah, because we, we definitely saw him pull that first pack of Death Knights, the two Death Knights. He yeah. pulled them into the Spiderwing trash and they were they were there, so... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe there's something going on more, more than I understand. Maybe the trash is giving some buff or something something. The DKs yeah. from the first boss give a debuff to bosses and does 1% damage to the boss every second. Bosses hit a lot harder though, but kill time is a lot faster. Oh, progress with the... So yeah, progress is the only guild, as far as I know, that has been doing that. So if that's actually a huge deal, I didn't I didn't know that that's what they were doing. I thought they were just pre-clearing trash with the hunter. If that's what yeah. they've been doing, that could that could snowball for them. So Fusion, uh, this is Jordy, they are now on Gothic the Harvester, and of course they're doing the, the trash pre-pull in the uh, military wing. Yeah, so what he's trying to do right now is precast a, play, a prayer of healing. So as soon as the hunter comes around the corner, he will heal him and he will pull threat on all the adds the uh, the hunter has. So the hunter can feign death and the adds will all run through the gate into, uh, into the room and they can kill them while they're waiting for the waves to spawn. Okay, here comes the hunter right now. You can watch it happen. The hunter's around the corner. Jordy pops a big yeah. heal on him. He's spamming heals and he wants threat. There's a vigilant shade coming around. The hunter and feigns, and now it's on Jordy. Yep. Yep. And the hunter goes back and gets the next step. Yep. Right, let's go back to uh, Avatar here, popping rocket boots as they head towards Gothic. Oh, they've got two people dead here. Even in vanilla, this trash uh, could could kill people pretty easily. This these packs here. I think we're on our fourth wing for a lot of these guilds. Oh. Yeah. What happened here with old school, our Chinese guild? We've got a death. He's out of the raid. I don't know if this was a total... It, def, it definitely was not a total raid wipe. He just got invited to a new raid. What's going on here? There is a new raid forming. Keep in mind, this stream is 15 minutes delayed. They're like doing a total roster swap. mid nax run. I don't know That's, what is going on here. That seems weird. But, I mean, I'll tell you. Why would a guild want to delay their stream by 15 minutes? Because they think they have some secret, some secret shit going on, right? That they don't want other guilds to know. I'm so fascinated. I, 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 I hate that they're 15 minutes behind, but I get it. They've got an entirely new roster. Patchwork's already dead. They already killed him with their other team. And now they head in towards Grobulus. And I believe we're using... It's a little bug or exploit, whatever you want to call it, where you can use a new pair of rocket boots every 30 seconds. Like, rocket boot one is not sharing cooldown with rocket boot pair two. So if you have six pairs of rocket boots... You can just keep equipping new pairs, and all you have to deal with is the 30 second equip cooldown. And so we see that happening in these raids. Progress is at Gothic now doing the uh, the Gothic gate pull. So it's funny because I remember when, when Salad Bakers first did the gate pull, it was like mind blowing that they did this back in vanilla. It was like revolutionary strategy. And now it's like, stat now every guild is doing this. You have to do it, right? Yeah. That's that's the cool thing with with speedrunning is once someone reveals their tech or something, everyone starts doing it. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> and that that's that's exactly what Progress did with the Thaddeus into Saffron phenomenon, where they where they took the Thaddeus buff, uh, which hyper juiced out their damage. They they took that buff to Saffron and killed Saffron in like twenty five seconds or something. Now you can't yeah. do that in the Wrath version of Nax because Thaddeus buff drops the second he dies. Like you don't have that extra thirty or forty second window, whatever it was. Oh, we have Jordy here with Fusion, doing four Horsemen, and they did the same thing. A three boss, a three Horsemen stack, and then a nuke on Zelly. Oh, look at this. 
We have our uh, Exodus Russian Guild. We've got three people dead as they fight on Gothic. And they are they are doing the gate pull. They've got the gate pull going. The hunter's beyond the gate. Oh my lord. They're they're gonna wipe on they're gonna wipe on Gothic here. Over half this is Exodus, the complete Gothic wipe. Just about. Oh. That is tough. Yeah, they're releasing. Oh, that's not good. It that's just... they're they're out at that point, I think. Having to do Gothic again is just a lot of time. Gothic is a lot. That's like the one boss you do not want to wipe on. That is really bad. Yeah. That and, and Thaddeus as well, because of the you have to kill the two ads first and Gothic itself. Uh, and, and KT, Thaddeus you do not want to wipe on KT either. <laughs> and KT, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's a, oh. a lot of waste of time. F Fusion doing the the swim from military into uh into plague. I believe that's what's going on here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what's going on. They're going to jump down and into think... North. And I think Plague is their last quarter as well, so uh, they're they're doing really well. It seems it's hard to tell with uh, people doing uh, different quarters and different orders, but it's uh, it's looking pretty good for Fusion at the moment. Yeah, no. And hey, listen, Fusion is the only North American guild we are tracking right now, chat. So listen, we want to see these guys. Maybe you don't know me, but. I do! We want to see these guys get number one, okay? It's about time, North America. Actually, when was the last time NA had a classic WoW World first? Uh, I don't think ever, actually. <laughs> I think never. Yeah, I don't think so either. Shit. Hey, this is the... This is the... This is the tier. This is it. Since 2006? There's... Yeah, 2006. Uh, Rain is actually also looking pretty good. So, you have another contender for from NA. Is now is now a good time to add a Space Force stream? Here we have progress yes. doing Gothic. Let's go ahead and add this right now. This is a very good race so far. I really want to see these guilds. A lot of them have started in Nax. I want to see them move on to Sartharian, and I want to see them do 3 Drake. We haven't seen a single guild that we've been tracking at least do 3 Drake, so I want to see one of these guys. In my, This is just my personal opinion. World first includes 3 Drake. But I don't make the rules. That's just my personal feeling. I want to see three Drake dead. Ooh, progress is just about to pull four horsemen, and I think of course they're going to do the three the three horse stack and then kill Zelly last. Yeah, I really wish we had a beef bar stream. They're kind of secretive with how they do stuff, but uh, they're definitely a very very good guild. I wish they were streaming. I wish they were. So Fusion is here. They've got the th they've got the four the four demo warlocks. They killed a lot of trash as they pulled Hygen. And they are just hyper nuking. Giga nuking. Yeah, it looks like a lot of guilds are heading into their final wing or wrapping up their final wing. So you can see right now, progress is a good 10 minutes. They're one wing yep. ahead of Newman, for example. Yeah. Show show the uh, progress they just went in the saffron. Yep. They're, yep. they're looking from the... Not counting for delay, of course. They're looking to be ahead right now. Yeah, th things are looking very good for progress. But our old school Chinese guild, it's hard to know what's going on with them because they have a 15 minute delay. So I, I'm, I'm going to watch this entire boss kill. I want to see how fast they're able to kill Saffron. I want to see the entire thing. Yeah, the question is how many air faces they're going to get, right? <clears throat> it it yeah. will only be one. I yeah, believe. I think you're right about that. Yeah. Definitely. So Saffron is insanely bugged. During air phase, he doesn't even fly. He just sits on the ground. Did you see that? During yeah, air it, phase, it, he's just sitting there. That's the thing. It's the same with the uh, what is it? The third boss in uh, Utgard Pinnacle. It's I don't wow. Know what's going on with it. Wrath of the Beta King. And then when air phase ends, he like pops up and then pops back down just in one second. Oh, amazing. So they only have one air phase because now Saffron is in execute phase, pretty much right about now, and he's gonna start dying really, really fast. With the three a minute delay, Space Force are now killing Lower Thip, and they'll be hitting into Saffron as well. So I think. Progress and Space Force are pretty much neck and neck. Yeah, they've, they've got to be really close. Account, with, with, with the three minute delay. So it's uh, it's got to be really close. But apparently Beef Bar is ahead. We, uh, we've yet to see any any proof of that. But the Lux will show it eventually. Well, it's not hard to believe. Beef Bar has like, done very, very well. They they came within what? Like 20 seconds of beating Progress in Tier 5? That was a... Pro tier 5 yeah. Race World First was very, very close. Well, ooh, we're doing a swap. Progress is doing People a swap are... as they head into KT here. They're... Who'd they kick out and who are they summoning? 
someone is saying uh, old school has killed uh, killed us, uh, killed us out. So uh... it's hard to know. They're on a 15 minute delay. Yeah. It's hard to know. So Space Force is on <laughs> Saffron right here, but they have a three minute delay. So they're de they're definitely on KT right now, Space Force. So I gotta say, Progress and Space Force, they're looking real good. It's neck and neck between the Wait. two of them. What Space Force stream is that? Because I'm watching Tetsu right now, and he's in, in his point of view, they're still on low with him. Oh. <laughs> this so this stream I'm watching has, has five them. has six viewers. Maybe it's the secret one. M-A-L-L-I-X-X -X for you. I found the secret one. He has no delay, I guess. So if this has no delay, then we can say, I've got the secret stream. Then we can say that Space Force is just like a minute or 90 seconds behind, behind progress right now. Maybe, maybe yeah. there is a small delay. Let's tab over to Progress doing KT, though. So KT, the first half of KT is, like, uh, kind of boring. It's five minutes or so of just killing trash. There's not really a lot of min-max here. There really is not. You just kill it. This is when you uh, watch a YouTube video or you put on Netflix or you tune into your favorite Twitch streamer. Stay safe. So here Space Force is going into KT as well. You have Avatar is doing the military into Plague Wing skip. You've seen a lot of guilds do this, good for them. Oh, look at this, you have Jordy is now just starting Saffron with his guild Fusion. Man, I really, really wish I knew how old school is doing. This was our number one guild in Sun Old Plateau. It's a Chinese guild, and uh, they've just kind of like gotten better every raid tier, up to, up to being the number one guild in Sunwell. But today they're on a 15 minute delay, so it's hard to know just how close they are. Yeah, and I don't think they'll be posting any logs until all bosses are dead. So we, we won't even know how uh, how it went next until uh, Maligos and Safarian are dead as well. Well, the other thing to note here is that Old School killed uh, Sartharian first. They started on Sartharian. But but Old School did two Drake, not three Drake. In my opinion, so by, I want to see so a guild do standards. three Drake. So by our standards, they can win. Yeah, by my standards, Old School can't win because I want to see a guild clear all the raids and three Drake. Is that fair? I want to see a three Drake world first. Plus, uh, plus 25 Maui, plus 25 Nex. But regardless, they're going very, very fast. I I want to know what progress and Space Force are going to do after next Ramus is clear. Do they do three Drake? Do they do two Drake? That really is a big deal. I am very sure that both progress and Space Force will do three Drake. Fusion will as well. Yeah, I hope so. There's, there's no way they don't. And down goes Saffron, just about. And down he goes, and on to KT they move. All right, let's 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 watch progress as they tackle KT here. The boring trash phase is over. They spread out. Watch out for arcane bombs in the void zones. The melee is in the three stacks. I'm just going to watch this entire thing here. KT here is at 60%. So a big difference between vanilla KT and wrath KT, I think, is that the main tank can't get mind controlled. I think if you're on top threat, you can't get MC'd. I think that's that's what's going on. Which which would make KT and Nax Wrath way easier. Because that was always the big, really, really annoying thing. Beef bar cleared Nax. Alright, well now they've now they've got to go do Mali and Sarth. If that's true, if that's true. We got a race. I wish we had a stream. Go guys, go find me a stream. Go find me a beef bar stream. Because progress has KT at 34%. People are saying that uh, they got realm first on Gehenna's, so uh, I guess that's one way of... Uh, of then I guess you know, don't you? Yeah. Straight. Look at this, guys. Oh, wow. They're all getting pre-summoned before the raid is... They have a warlock at the Nexus who is summoning them to the Nexus mid-boss fight. They take the summon the second KT dies, and they go to, they go to Mali. So progress is, that's actually, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool for progress. They're out of combat. Drop combat. Take it. Take the summon. Go. Hey, where'd our stream go? Wait, are we lagging? Oh, no, we're back. We're good. We're good. Space Force here has KT at 43%. They're just barely behind. Though someone said that Space Force has just a small delay. So Progress is now hiding their stream. What is going on here, Progress? What's going on here, Progress? They're in. So they probably didn't, didn't want to get world PvP'd. And they're in, yeah, they're in. Yeah, yeah, they're in. Uh, Forget is running into uh, Celtic Posada as well now. Yeah. So they're 
but they're a little behind because they got to do the trash phase first. Yeah, they're a good, like, probably seven minutes behind or so. I want to take a look at Maligos here. Space Force is really close to Progress too, but Space Force might not have the summon tech that Progress has. That that summon tech, that's a big deal. I, I'd imagine they do. Yeah, yeah I, ho I hope so. So we've got two people dead here on Maligos. What's going on here? Uh, we're, and that was not... That we're using we're using b reses to get them up. Because that was probably not intentional. It was our Shaman Jiro and Akami a Death Knight. So... Looks like Space Force here does not have the same summon tech. Oh, maybe they do, but our hunter is turning in the quest to get the, the tier or the, the, the key. The key. Yeah. yeah. So now he probably gets summons. I would imagine the rest of the raid is already at the Nexus and he gets a summon and there he goes. Yeah. Okay. So they had the summon tech. We were just watching the key point of view. So they, they're good. They're just, they're just probably two or three minutes behind progress at this point. And Maligos is at 32%. We're going air phase here in just a minute. First, we have to do the bubble phase. So I love this. You're seeing the range DPS. Not going the bubbles early. They know they don't need to. They're standing in the electricity damage buff on the ground. There's no reason to get the bubble yet. They know the deep breath is not happening soon. He stands there with the damage buff out of the bubble, just pumping down the guys up in the air. That's just the confidence. The confident gameplay. You don't need to move unless you need to. Dude, I, I love I love the rivalry b between Progress and Space Force. And I, lo I love how close it is too. It makes for yeah. very good viewing. But Space Force has Mali at about 90%. And oh, here we have Progress. They're going into Air Phase. Final phase of Mali. Just about, just about. This platform is going to explode any second here. Any second. Any weird bugs, any problems? No. You never know with Wrath. Wrath has had, so far, quite a few random little bugs, so you never know with stuff like this. Are you seeing this? I just heard Beef Bar got server first Maligos. If that's true, then yeah. Beef Bar is ahead of both Progress it, and Space Force, but maybe not the Chinese just, old school. They just need the three drakes now, then. Yep. So, guys, to, to, to reiterate, this is not the official rule. What we kind of want to see here, I want to see the comprehensive clean sleep clean clean sweep world first i want to see i want to see nax 25 cleared i want to see maligos cleared and i want to see sartharian three drake cleared and i mentioned old school a minute yeah, ago so old school's out they did two drake they already did two drake so they're kind of as far as i'm concerned like kind of they're out of the race so what i'm watching right now i'm watching the uh the, this uh fusion point of view from Mal the, the group that is in maligos and while they're in here the uh, the uh, realm first achievement for uh, Kel'Thuzad actually popped up, so they have two completely separate raid groups. That is, one that went and only did uh, uh, Saffron and then didn't do Kel'Thuz before going to Maligos. You need to do that to be able to enter. Yeah. Uh, and then... Or maybe they had one person leave the raid after, actually. I don't know how many... Do you need one person or more to get into uh, uh, Maligos? Just I'm one person just with, the one with the key. Yeah, so they just probably one. had someone from this, their run drop out and go in the second group. Uh, and then they're already on Meligos when they kill, uh, kill Tassad. So Progress just got the immediate summon here to Sarth. I want to see 3D. Now, how is Space Force doing while, while Progress gets kind of set up there? Meligos is at 47%. And so now we got to see what does Beef Bar do. Beef Bar has maybe a 45, 60 second lead on Progress. Space Force is probably two minutes behind. What does Beef Bar do? Do they do 3D or do they do 2D? We gotta see. Fusion just got Mali. Fusion has two raid groups. Fusion is doing something kind of weird. They've got two raid groups here. So I think what yeah. happened is the second the Nax group killed Saffron, the person that got the Saffron quest item dropped and went to Mali with another separate raid team while the other group finished off KT. So Fusion is getting kind of weird. Let's look at progress. Are we killing Vesperon? Progress, what are we doing here? Or sorry, Shadrun. We're killing Shadrun. Progress. People are saying Fusion did uh, Southarian three drakes thirty minutes ago. So I think the the, the group that just killed Maligos, they probably did South three drake while they had the Jordy's group in uh, yeah in uh, in Nax, and then yeah. after they did three drake, they went and were ready to go for Maligos, and then has summoned someone from the Jordy raid to let them into Maligos. Yeah. So yep. I, I think I think Fusion are uh, completely done, but it is done with two separate raid groups. 
It's yeah, kind, it's kind of hard to. Uh... That's that's something we've always talked about, um, but no guild has done that yet, right? Because we talked about that with uh, tier five and also tier six, but no guild has done that. Now we have fusion doing it, so you got to have that conversation. Exactly. People are saying in chat that it doesn't count. I I, I would tend to agree, but they uh, they got all the achievements at least for the guild. But I would say they they would all need to be there, or at least have it had have at least one person there for every kill. And the person who left uh, adds a uh, Satharian, not the Satharian, uh, Saffron, uh, to go and let the other Radiant to Maligos wouldn't be there for Kill to Sad and therefore doesn't get that that credit. Yeah, you know, like I, I would say maybe as long as there's one person that was there for every boss, like if you have one person from your guild at least that was there for every boss, then I'd like count it for you. I don't know. But like, they don't. Yeah, they don't. So, uh... <sighs> man. <sighs> What a hard, uh, what a hard conversation to have. So here's Space Force. They are just about to kill Maligos, and then they move on to Sartharian. Now, yeah. here's the thing. Did progress? Why, why were they zoned out? I looked away just for one moment. They wiped almost. Oh, jeez, dude. We were looking at Space Force just for one moment. I think we're doing this right here to reset Bloodlust CD. I think is why our hunter does that. Oh, they're oh they're doing that to pull all the trash. That's why he does that. Ah. Here we go. Okay. It's gamer time. Yeah, this is a this is a big trash pull. Ah, they can do it, dude. Oh, that prop pallet is getting very low. Uh, they got it. They can do it. Easy. Too. It's too easy. It's too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Okay, here is the thing. Shadron is dead. They are, they are not doing three Drake. Progress is not doing three Drake. As far as I know, I think they killed one of is them. It, is, it the, is it the right side that is... Uh, you, you can see by the buff when they pull. Yeah, it's right right side that I think is dead. Okay, so yeah, they, they, killed, they killed one of them. What is Forget doing? This is LMGD's guild. They're killing Shadron too. Yep. Yeah. They're not going to attempt three Drake either. Three Drake is same loot as two Drake. You are completely missing the concept. That is not what anyone gives a shit about today. That is not what anyone cares about. Okay, so Artharion is getting burned down. I, I, I gotta say, I'm pretty surprised that um, a lot of these guilds are not pushing 3D. Yeah, I am as well. You, you would think like that's, that's a pretty big, uh, that's a pretty big accomplishment to be the first guild to do 25 Nax and 25 Mali and uh, 3D, but no no one's really pushing for it. You have had one guild that like effectively cleared all of it. I think they did 3D too, it's Fusion, but they used two different raid teams, which is interesting also. Did Progress do three Drake? No, Progress just killed two Drake. I want to see if Beef Bar did two Drake or three Drake. Does anyone in chat know? Okay, people are saying two. They'll get the achievement from doing the two. Yeah, there you I go. I think what a lot of these skills were just were going for with the achievements, but... Yeah, uh, yeah, they're probably pushing achievements. Yeah, given that no one um, has really pushed three Drake, I guess I guess you kind of have to have the discussion then. Who got world first? Like, I would say probably Beef Bar. If if it if it's not uh, about three Drakes, then I don't see why we should care about the the multiple race either. Then. Like, you're not pushing it, so I Ooh. think at that point it's future. Yeah, no, you can have that discussion too. If you're not uh, gonna check space force, check space force. People are saying they're doing three Drakes. I'm not sure if that's true. No, they're going up to the Drake now. I, I, if they're skipping this, they'll do three Drake. Otherwise, they're not. They pulled. Yeah, they're that, they just fucked up. They just fucked up. I don't think that was intentional. Yeah, they did not mean to pull that boss. They're running out now. Yeah, so, so they, they will be doing three Drake. They do want to do three Drake. Space Force is going for three Drake. Come on, Space Force. That's some good old American testosterone. Three Drake. Yeah, Space Force. Hoo, hoo, hoo. We like to see that. That's what if we like. The to do the, if they're the first to do this and they do it with three drakes, they're the winner in my book. Because it seems I'm pretty sure they've had the same rate uh, throughout all of it. They might have been have some substitutes, but I, they've not like swapped, you know uh, entire rate groups to I, do it simultaneously. I gotta say, like this is exactly what you want to see from a viewer point of view in a world in a in a classic world first race because you have you're gonna have arguably three guilds that all have a claim to world first right you have fusion who'd use two raid groups 
and they're the first guild technically to clear all the raids. You have Beef Bar, who is the first guild with one single raid group to kill all three bosses, but they didn't do three Drake. And then you have Space Force, who's going to be the first guild with one single raid group to do three Drake, right? And so there's like, it's sort of like, interestingly, three weird different claims to be made. And then you can argue about it. And then people can argue about this for the next 10 years, which is good, which is exactly what, as a viewer, you want to see. It's the drama. Nobody cares about 3D. Well, I don't think that's true. I think a lot of people do, which is why, which is why there's like controversy, right? Which is, yeah, I, th I think a lot of people care about it. We care. That's what we decided at the start of the, <laughs> of the stream, that is that we care. I'm just so curious why a lot of these top guilds, uh, well, t why two of them specifically did not care about 3Drake. I wonder, I wonder what the decision making was. Because let me ask yeah. you this, if they're going to do 2D, why not 0D? Yeah. Like, like, uh, like, why not? Why not, why not start there to get the uh, the achievement? It's, they start next because they want the uh, first Kael'thas for the server, I guess. But yeah. at, at that, a lot of these servers, that someone will have done two Drake. People are saying that two uh, Drake is faster than zero Drake. That's probably true. You can probably burst them down instead of having. Yeah, to go yeah. Around. There's there's like a time investment thing, right? So the yeah. the difficulty you shave off the boss by just killing one like justifies the time it takes to kill one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is Space Force so, pushing here. Space Force and Forget are actually going to be very close here because uh, Space Force uh, already did Maligos and they're now doing South 3 Drake. Wh whereas Forget already did South 3 Drake and they're now doing Maligos. So uh, they, they both of them just pulled at the same time on different dragons. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, let me take a quick look here at uh, uh, Forget is just killing Mali or they're pushing on Mali. So interestingly enough, Space Force here is looking to be the first single guild single raid team guild without using multiple raid teams to clear all three raids plus sartharian 3d which boss fight is faster uh melee ghost or south 3 drake i i probably I think the probably sarth is, probably uh, sarth 3d yeah the intermission on melee ghost is pretty long so we got to see as as long as space force doesn't die uh, doesn't wipe then they'll be the first guild to meet that very specific criteria looking at the logs now uh Beef bar, they did, they full cleared everything, but they did SAS 2 Drake instead of 3 Drake. I gotta say real quick, um, Beef Bar in progress, though they did 2D, they did those runs very, very fucking fast. That's a huge yeah. accomplishment. Insanely fast. And and they, ch they chose 2D because that was the fastest way to do Sartharian. But in that, in, in that 2D criteria, Beef, Beef Bar won. Beef Bar beat progress, right? Just barely. A couple minutes. But I, I think I think we should stick to the three D because that is the of the for tier seven that is the hard mode and if we're not counting hard modes in when we come to Ulduar I think that would be wrong. No, I, I like think you're right. Ulduar, I think you're it, right. Has to, it has to be Yaxaran hard mode, right? I think you're right. I think you're right. Uh, as as far as I go as a viewer, I want to see all the hard modes cleared. That's Making like a, saying uh, world first uh, heroic in retail instead of mythic. We're gonna have three guilds that all have one in sort of their own way. If depending on, on what you decide is the winning criteria. Three guilds have like a claim to winning in a weird way, and we can talk about that here in a second. But I, I wanna I wanna see Sartharian 3D uh, die. Progress didn't win anything. Yeah, so if you look at those three like kind of winning criteria, progress didn't win anything. You're right. Yeah. Though they had still a very, very oh, fast run. Is that a wipe? Oh my god. 120. Oh, they they got it, but it it's gonna be very very close. Holy oh. shit! Is it a 50k wipe? 34k. Please, please. This paladin is still going. 30k. 30k. It's a full wipe at 24k. Oh no! Wow. wow. Space force. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Maybe this is why the other guilds only the two Drake, huh? See, this is where there's actually it's actually rough. Yeah, man, who knew? 3 3D is hard. You know what? Jordy's group here could beat could beat uh Space Force. They're doing 3D also. Well, has Jordy's group done Maligo, so did they go Sartharian right after Kelsasad? That's the question. I think they went here straight after, so I still think they're missing Maligos. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, you might be right about that. Personally, I I want to see 3 Drake die. I think for the sake of Wrath World Firsts. I think hard modes are important because then you get into old war and it's like are we going to count hard modes or not and i think we should i think we should and so i think you need to set that precedent in tier seven um which is why i'm an advocate for for hard mode 3d 
um, just because of the precedent it says as, as we as we move forward in wrath. But I, I don't I know. Think it's a simple, I think it's as simple as saying that no one cares about heroic first in in retail. So why would we care about non hard mode in classic? That, I think it's as simple as that. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, true. It's who clears the hardest content the fastest. I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. I think I think you have to take the most like the most competitive challenge there is. This is this is hard mode. This is Star 3D, and you have to tackle that. Like if we're if we're having this argument now, where are we going to be in old in four months when Old War comes out? Yeah. What about what about what about ICC uh, heroic? Are we going to talk heroic or normal or what matters? I don't know. Yeah, it, it, everyone cares about the uh, Lich King in twenty five normal. That's that's the the good shit. That's what everyone wants to see, not heroic. <laughs> who, who wants that? <laughs> Another point: If you start going down there with you, then why do we care about twenty-five men? Why not? Why not ten men? Like, yeah. where does it end? Right? It's the hardest, and three D is the hardest. So I I'm looking over the logs now, and uh, multiple kills have gone uh, seventeen out of seventeen. But I, from what I can tell, no one has killed, uh, has done that, and and killed three tricks. So. Um, I see this statement from Warcraft Logs saying that um, Obsidian Sanctum for progress, the number of drakes left alive during Sartharian won't be tracked for progress. It doesn't matter if it's difficult to kill the boss on Warcraft. Well, here's the thing, like, Warcraft Logs rules are just as made up as our rules are. Like, it, it's yeah. just it's just entirely individual preference, right? Which is why, which is why this is so debatable. Uh, is Avatar 3D? Ah, oh, dude, I don't know. The, the log will be up in a sec because they've posted every other log, so... I'll keep an eye on it. Well, space space has just got just got 3D down. Nice. There's the mount, the Twilight Drake. Avatar log is up, and it is it's plus zero according to the log. I don't know if that's it was a one minute kill, so that sounds right. Oh man, what a controversial day! You can understand every guild's motivation because Progress and Beef Bar had the same objective: just be the first guild to clear all three with one single raid team. Right, Fusion had a different approach, and Space Force went for the 3D approach, but Beef Bar and Progress were on the same page, and that's probably because of the Warcraft Logs rules, right? Space Force said, no, we value World First 3D plus World First 25 Nax and 25 Mali, so we're gonna do the clean sleep, the, 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 the world tour, including 3D. And then Fusion says, okay, we're gonna do all that, but we're gonna use two raid groups if we have to to do it faster than everyone else. And so Fusion technically cleared all these raids the fastest, including 3D, but they had two raid groups with the people doing it. And so you have, the, you have this different like approach to everything and different values and say, okay, who actually got world first? I don't know, <laughs> like, I don't know. That's why it's so hard to talk about. Nomi made a good point. When you're watching retail WoW race to world firsts, no one gives a shit about race to world first normal or race to world first heroic. It's the hardest content that matters. You do the hardest content and that's the most prestigious. It's race to world first mythic. It's always the hardest content that is the most important. And I think that should probably apply to classic wrath also. So when we're talking old war, I think it's race to world first hard modes. When we're talking uh, Sartharian, it's race to world first Sartharian 3D plus everything else. I think it's race to world first like uh, I I, for I forget the TOC stuff or whatever, but I, whatever that is. And I think also probably heroic 25-man ICC is what matters the most. That's what I would say. But once again, that's just my personal preference. And clearly that differentiates from like the Warcraft logs standards for a classic WoW. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Nomi, what, what do you think? I, I, I said what I think. It's the hardest content that matters. Progress lost because Beef Bar got a 10% damage buff because invasions are still active on Gehennis. Progress couldn't get that buff because it's not active anymore on Fire Maw. I don't know anything about that, bro. I have no idea. It's irrelevant. By, by the way, I don't think that's irrelevant. I just, I just don't know if it's true. Um, I don't even know what 10% damage buff that is. But like, you could conceive if one raid had access to a 10% damage buff and another raid did not, then that would uh, complicate things. <laughs> that, that would be kind of weird. I don't know. This is a very, this is so. This is the fifth time that we've done the race to world first coverage here, and this is definitely the most controversial one. This is the hardest one to talk about because you have maybe that coming into play, and I have no idea if that's true. You it have. is true. The buff is called Soul Revival, and it was for the patchwork kill. It was active on twenty-three people. Uh, I need to check if it was uh, on uh, on progress as well. But Beef Bar did have a uh, Soul Revival. <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> God, that's stupid. Well, and then and then it's like, okay, can you can't blame Beef Bar for doing that because it's some it's a tool that's at their disposal. It's it's Blizzard's fault for fucking that up. 
You, you, you can't blame a world frustrator for using every advantage they possibly have. Yeah, it's it's in the game. It's Blizzard's stupid fault for for having Invasion still be up 10 days after fucking Wrath of the Witch King came out. Hello for allowing world buffs in the Raise to World First Tier 7. That's ridiculous. That is absurd. That is absurd. Cool. <laughs> cool, Blizzard. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I would, I would never fault Beef Bar for that either. I never would do that. That's ridiculous. Um, looks like Rain did 3D. Good for them. Yeah, good for them. Good for them. Um, it, it, it looks like... Here, I'm gonna be real with you guys. As far as Warcraft Logs is concerned, it doesn't matter what D you did. You could have 1D, 2D, 3D. You could have 4D, 5D, 6D. I don't think Warcraft Logs gives a shit. It's just the, it's just the first raid group to clear all the raids on 25, man. You could have D's nuts. So, if you wanna... If, if we're... Six months from now, if we are reflecting back on this raid tier, according to Warcraft logs, Beef Bar won. I, I place a big emphasis and value on 3D, uh, but uh, I don't know, maybe I'm the, may, maybe Nomi and I here are the odd ones out. And if that's so, then that's just the way it goes. Hopefully, hopefully Warcraft logs can like clarify, I don't know, I, I guess... I guess we just have to kind of follow the Warcraft Logs rules, uh, despite no, maybe staying, our own personal preferences. I think, say, I think we determined already now, and then we can, you can people can clip this when they say we're uh, going back on it, but it's hard modes that count. True, we care about hard modes, we care about SAR 3D, we care about heroic mode, we care about the hardest possible content there is. That's what we care about, none of this easy way out type shit. But I gotta say, like, these guilds, they fucking owned. Even, even yeah. the guilds that did not do very, 3D, they fucking owned. Memes aside, they owned.